you've seen previous videos, you know what's coming next. The dance. Welcome to another episode of Mixology and Mortgages with the Hatchman. Today I want to talk to those of you that have been turned down, that's right, straight up declined for a loan because your credit score is too low. I'm talking to all of you. You should never just take that decline and be happy with it. I want to talk to you about different things you can do specifically when you've got a lower credit score to help you get pre-qualified to purchase a house. So if you've been turned down for a loan, specifically a mortgage loan, and because it was due to your low credit score, don't just be happy with that. All right, well, I guess I can never buy a house. That's, that's not the case. I talk to people all the time. Sometimes it's a not right now situation, but it's never just, yes, you're approved. No, you're not approved. If you're not approved and you need to find out what steps you need to take. Honestly, for the most part, I would say most people, when they do have a lower credit score, many times they may know why, but they don't really know how to get it fixed. How do they get it up, right? How do you get your score to an acceptable level so that you can get approved for a house? I talk about these things because I have personally lived them. I was one of those guys that had a horrible credit situation. I was able to get myself out and get myself back on track so that I did have financial buying power. Credit just in general, it helps you in so many different ways. The better your credit score, the lower you're going to pay in interest rates and fees. It's going to save you more money in the long run. Let's get a few things out of the way first. If you are behind on your bills, if credit cards, auto loans, even if your mortgage is late, you've got to get on track. Sit down, get a budget, find out what you can afford, and make sure that your bills, especially the bills that are being reported to credit, are paid on time. Late payments are one of the hardest things to overcome because the one thing you cannot cheat with credit is time. Some things just take time. Credit history is one of them. So for you younger people, make sure you're paying stuff on time. And a tip for you parents out there, when your children are about 16 years of age, find a credit card that's in good standing with a low or zero balance add them as an authorized user without telling them that will help generate credit scores for them so by the time they turn 18 and apply for that credit card they're going to get approved credit repair companies right i'm sure if you have rough credit you've looked into credit repair honestly i'm probably going to offend some people but i think they're all scams i've never had any luck with a credit repair company i'm never going to charge you money to help show you what it's going to take to fix your credit i'm going to give you the steps and tell you what to do to be fair i do think if you don't wanna do those steps, if you just straight up don't have time, a credit repair company could help in that situation because they're gonna take that away from you. Let's talk about low credit, right? I can do loans with as low as a 520 credit score. That's right, down to a 520, you can still get approved for a mortgage loan. Now, obviously there's stipulations to that, as always. If you've got a 520, at least a 520, you can do an FHA loan. There's uh, limitations to that as far as how much you can borrow, depending on the county that you're in, and your down payment increases to 10%. You need a 10% down payment when you have a score between 520 and 579, you can get an FHA loan with as little as 10% down. Maybe if your credit score has dipped and you need to sell a house and you're gonna make some good money from the sell that home, you can still get another FHA loan as long as you can do at least 10% down. VA loans, you can actually do zero down, down to 520 with VA. So if you are a military veteran and eligible for the VA loan, that is a great option for you. That being said, your interest rate and your fees are not gonna be super favorable when you've got that low of a credit score. Ideally, you wanna get up at least to that 580 mark for FHA, then you can get away with 3.5% down. 620 is gonna open up additional loan programs such as conventional as well as FHA, and then 640 and beyond is gonna open up down payment assistance. 720 and beyond is gonna open up jumbo and non-conforming. So, those are the credit score requirements that we're looking at. Let's talk about the bad credit situations, right? Because again, we've all been there. There's no judgment. I promise I'm never going to give you any sort of judgment if you've got a really low credit score. Because trust me, I have seen them in the 300s, in the 400s. It happens. I get it. A lot of people just don't even know what to do when that happens. Your first step is, I need to see that credit report. I, I know it can be embarrassing. Let me look at it. I'm going to pull credit. I'm going to do a deep dive. I'm going to find out, number one, what is hurting that credit score? Why is it that low? What caused that to happen? In many cases, you might know, but a lot of people don't. They don't realize what's hurting them. So let me do a deep dive and an analysis. Uh, again, late payments, super hurtful. You need to pay your bills on time. If you have collections, depending on what type of collections they are and how old they are, 
it may actually make your score get worse to pay them off. And there are ways to delete collection accounts from your credit report. That's right, there are ways to delete them. There's also things called pay for delete. You can agree to pay the company a certain amount of money, maybe it's not even the full amount of money that you owe, and they'll agree to delete it. If we can get it in writing, I can get that deleted off your credit report for you at no cost. I do this for my clients because I'm hoping to obviously get them pre-qualified so they can purchase a home eventually. If you've been declined and turned down and you don't know where to go, Come to me, let me take a look at it. I had a situation over a year ago where the client was literally under contract and their credit score was not good enough to get them a loan. Uh, but we're under contract, so I was able to show them what they needed to do. And in some cases, you may have to pay off some collections or even pay down some credit cards. I look at the least amount of money it's gonna take to get the score where we need it to be. It might take 30 days, 60 days, six months, a year. It might take three to five days, guys. There's lots of situations where I'm able to help people get their score in an acceptable position to get approved for whatever loan type they're looking for in a fairly short amount of time. As long as you listen to me and stay the course, I promise I can get you there. So for those of you that have been turned down, give me a call, that's why I'm here to help. So now let's make a cocktail, right? This is a fun one. This cocktail is called the Mexican Firing Squad. And I chose the Mexican Firing Squad specifically because I feel like when people have really low credit or maybe it's so low, you feel like it's a death sentence and there's no hope, right? You're lined up against a firing squad. Well, not all firing squads are bad, guys. Let's make one. Start off, tequila. This one, we're gonna use the Casa Amigos. This is the uh, Ripple Salo. I've actually never had this. This is my first time cracking it open. Ooh, smells good. So we'll give this a shot. For this, we're gonna start off with two ounces of the Reposado Casa Amigos tequila. Es verdad que hablo español también. Okay, next up, we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce of grenadine. I'm sure this doesn't look like the typical grenadine you're used to seeing in the store, that bright red stuff. Don't ever buy that garbage, guys. Grenadine is just, just like simple syrup, it's two ingredients. It's sugar and pomegranate juice. All you do is you take your pomegranate juice, one to one ratio, cup of pomegranate juice, cup of sugar, throw it in a pan until it gets hot and melt it all together, throw it in the fridge, and it's good to go for at least, I don't know, probably three, four weeks. We're gonna use three fourths an ounce of this homemade grenadine, which is way better than that bright red garbage you buy in the store. Up next, three quarter ounce lime juice. So we're gonna use fresh lime juice today. Perfect. Half a lime gave out exactly three quarter ounces. That's what I'm talking about. See? Stuff just works out sometimes. And then, this is Angostura bitters. Uh, it's the most popular bitters out there. You see them in bars everywhere. I just put it in a fancy little uh, holder because I think it's cool. I'm actually going to use five dashes of this stuff, so let's get to it. One, two, three, four, and five. I think I got six in there. Oh well. That's it. We're gonna shake this cocktail. The ice. If you've seen previous videos, you know what's coming next. The dance. There we go, nice and cold. We need rocks or ice. I'm still a fan of the one big ice cube because it just looks cool. This one, because it had a little citrus in it, I'm gonna use the strainer on top. I'm gonna use the mesh strainer on top of the regular one. Look how pretty that is, guys. Then, of course, we have to garnish it with a lime wheel. We're gonna garnish that bad boy with the lime. And there you have it, guys. Mexican Firing Squad. A low credit score, not always a death sentence. Give me a call, all right? As always, like, share, comment, hit me up. If you guys wanna know, wanna have some more cocktails or if you wanna know more about anything mortgage finance related, let me know. But uh, otherwise, cheers.